I'm going to show you how to play the French grip technique to make you a faster and better drummer. Coming right up. Welcome, my name is Cameron and if you're new to this channel and you want free drum lessons and to watch other drumming videos on drumming related things, then start now by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. A common question that I get is about stick technique and grip. So I'm going to show you the techniques I use for the French grip and I'm also going to provide you an exercise that'll make you a faster and better drummer. The very first thing we need to look at is the finger positioning on our drumsticks. What I mean by that is, let's say you're still using your fingers, but you still burn out quickly and you can't play as long. I'll show you a really interesting thing that's happening with that. Let's take a closer look. For starters, you're gonna wanna take your hand and make an L with it like this. And we're gonna set the drumstick inside of that first joint of the index finger right in here. We then take our thumb and pinch over top or before the index finger like this. That's kind of drastic like that. This step is to really set up the rest of our hand so that we can make sure the stick sits properly in the right spot of our hand. When holding the drumstick in the French grip position like this, our thumb is facing upward. We're not moving it off to the side completely so that our palm is facing down. That is called the German grip and in between the French and the German on a slight angle like this is called the American grip. But I'll get to that in, in some later videos and we'll talk more about those techniques. Next thing we want to do is curl these three fingers around the stick like this. And now we have our basic position for the French grip. A lot of drummers use the index finger and the thumb as the fulcrum using the remainder of the fingers to control the rebound. It's not wrong, however, you lose the ability to take advantage of another finger to add more power and a lot more control to your stroke. Instead of doing that, try pushing down with the thumb by using a little bit of wrist motion. Then use the other four fingers to propel the stick, ensuring we have full control and rebound from the stick. You see here how the fingers open up after impact? That's exactly what we're trying to achieve with this technique. Furthermore, you pull the stick back into your hand with your fingers. Now there's a lot more to this technique than just knowing how to place your fingers on the drumstick. So keep watching and stick around for an exercise that I use personally to strengthen my fingers. In metal drumming, we use the efficiency and the strength in our fingers to help us play longer with more endurance at faster tempos. More often than not, I see a lot of drummers using this technique. It's not necessarily incorrect. However, you can get more power out of this grip by doing some simple exercises and by doing this. Instead, we should consider using the full range of motion with our fingers. This is much like I talked about in a previous video about the ankle motion, and I'll link that up here so you can check it out after this video. Instead of doing the small range of motion with your hand like this, and barely getting any volume, you wanna be able to open your fingers up all the way like this, instead of making small movements. You want a lot of power behind this. So practice that. Now to do this, we'll place the stick in our hand like normal and we'll just practice the rebound. Your stick will pretty much go straight up and down if you let it, but if you want to control it, obviously do it like this. But it is also much more important that we focus on the release of the stick. And by doing that, we'll increase our ability to play louder for longer. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for the exercise I've been telling you about that I use, it is from Ricky Sebastian and Marco Miniman. It's their finger isolation exercise. To simply put it, you isolate each finger for eight bars. So you use your fulcrum, then you cycle through. So you got your middle finger, your ring finger, and then your pinky. Now I was down in New York City at the Collective School of Music a couple weeks ago, and I was shown this by a few friends, Tobias Ralph, Alex Cohen, John Longstreth, and Luis Santiago Jr. Here is how the exercise goes. Now just a quick note, if we're playing with the ring finger here, make sure to keep and maintain fulcrum on the drumstick with your thumb and your index finger. You then slowly work your way through each finger 
And then you play with both hands doing the same thing at the same time. If you want, keep playing along with me and we'll do it without a metronome just for starters to get you accustomed to the motions. Now this exercise is intended to be practiced for a long period of time. Take it slow at first, practice it 20 minutes a day, and obviously start with your weak hand because that's the one that needs strengthening the most. Give yourself a few weeks and you'll see yourself progressively attaining faster speeds for longer. I've got more videos on hand exercises you should check out up here in the playlist above. To learn more about drumming and drumming related things, start now by clicking the round subscribe icon below so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much, I'm Cameron and I'll see you in the next video.